today you're going to locate a medium-sized bug colony and wipe it out. Intel estimates infestation is level two, which means we're up against a thousand active defenders. We know what to do. Kill them all. Oh. Yeah, that's the idea. Run the plan, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Uh, uh Geo. First team secures the landing zone, sir. Uh, Camacho. We'll locate the target colony's entrance, sir. Uh, 101? We give them the gas. Kills bugs, but don't hurt us. Baba! Oh, <laughs> jeez, that's me. <laughs> uh, flip the nuke. Uh, flip the launcher on the nuke. Oh, uh, but not yet. Uh, uh, Dutch! Me and Bessie seal the deal. Right down the bug hole. Eagle One, ready for takeoff. Remember your training and stick to the plan. Do you get me? Yes, yes sir. Sir. Ready, sir! Lock and load. Yeah! Let's do this! All right, baby! Infrared, Lieutenant. Uh oh, then what is it? Well, 
that was just outstanding. Uh, well, sir, uh, how come I always get ripped in half? Bugs got your number, big man. Colonel, no one told us it was a trap. That's not fair, sir. Here's a little combat secret for you, Lieutenant. War isn't fair. It's always a trap. Cancel your plans, troopers. We go again tomorrow. Well, sorry, sir, but don't you remember? Tomorrow's air day. Celebrating 25 years of filtered Martian air. Air day? Yes, sir. Well, we take our terraforming very seriously. No one appreciates a nice gulp of fresh air like a Martian, sir. There are no Martians in my mobile infantry, Lieutenant. Only troopers who follow orders. Do you get me? We get you, sir. sir. Same time tomorrow, troopers. Dismissed. So, how about those new Martian recruits? If you've been watching, you know. Is there anyone who isn't watching? <laughs> it's the wackiest shit we've ever seen on FedNet. <laughs> I call my lost patrol. I might feed them to the bugs and start over. What do you expect from a bunch of Martian farm kids? How is it that I got posted to the most uneventful colony in the entire Federation? Wait. Don't answer that. It could have made my life a whole lot worse, considering I'm the only commanding officer ever to let an arachnid queen through our Terran defenses. Don't be so hard on yourself, Colonel. If you'd pulled that trigger, we'd all be dead. Thanks, Red's ass. I need to stop reliving that moment. Shoot some caffeine? <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Colonial duty isn't for everybody, but Mars is a sweet place to kick back and get some R&R. &R. Do I look like someone who needs r and &R? I'd rather be stuck on a bug planet. At least I'd have something to shoot. The Martians prefer the slow life. You know if they break away from the Federation, they're gonna stop contributing to the war on bugs. Makes no sense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here it goes. There are no Martians in my mobile infantry. <laughs> Only troopers who follow orders. And the orders are, stay in your quarters and don't have any fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, real troopers don't celebrate air day. Real, real troopers, troopers don't need air. <laughs> you know, maybe it's true what they say. Maybe Martians just aren't that smart. That's what people used to say about me back in high school. You idiot! You oh, idiot! Oh, 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 oh. I rest my case. Martians in their goddamn air. That shit is starting to give me headaches. Hey, look! I wonder where they're going. The fleet's making a massive strike on the AQZ. Uh, yeah! What's the matter, Rico? Can't stand sitting one out? I'm infantry. We like to fight. There's a distinctly different air to Air Day this year. In addition to the usual all-night parties, Martian separatists are using the holiday to promote Martian independence. Recent opinion polls show that one in three Martians are tired of fighting a war that doesn't affect them. And a startling 73% said they'd much rather drink beer. Well, it looks like fun to be a Martian, but fun is for kids. 
At 26, SNAP isn't just the Federation's youngest Sky Marshal. Federal scientists now say she's probably the smartest woman who's ever lived. In war, you're either part of the fight or you're part of the problem. So do you think independence could catch on in other emerging federal colonies? <laughs> no. Mars is a special case where ego politics and isolationism have conspired against moral responsibility. One last question for our younger viewers, Sky Marshal. Have you ever been wrong about anything? <laughs> it's my curse. Would you like to know more? <laughs> in a bold move on the AQZ, Sky Marshal Snap deployed the entire fleet for a surprise attack on the bugs. This marks the 20th anniversary of the Klendatu invasion. Maybe this time the operation will not be a total failure. Would you like to know more? Status report. Code red, plus one, and counting. It's getting thick out there. Carmen. Carmen? Carmen. <laughs> Carmen? It's Carl. Carl? You okay, ma'am? Keep your eye on the drop. Everything I'm about to say to you is classified. So, so don't, don't talk. talk. If you can read my thoughts, then you know I'm a little busy right now, Carl. You're the only one who can help right now, Carmen. What is it this time? I need you to get a message to Johnny. Johnny's on Mars, right? You're a lot closer than me. I can't get through to him like I can with you. You know Johnny, he's got a thick head. <laughs> Shit, hold on. Carl? Plasma! Incoming! Maintain altitude! Okay, I'm back. So you want me to abandon my command in the AQZ and go to Mars... now? Flight 103 to Geneva, boarding now. Now would be good. Are you going to bother telling me why? No, I think you're better off not knowing. Direct hit on the Ishizuka! Heavy damage! Of course not, because that's the way you like it! You haven't changed a bit, have you, Carl? No, and I'm not planning to. I need you to find Johnny. Amy Snap is very upset with Mars, and you know how she can be. Mobile infantry, commence drop! Mobile infantry, commence drop! Enjoy the flight, sir. Thank you. You're not being very concrete, Carl. Yes, I know. If the truth about Mars ever comes out, it will destroy the Federation. Is the truth really that bad? Six units standing by for delivery. I'm afraid it is. <laughs> Freeze! Well, anyway, good luck. That's it? Good luck? Yes. We're going to need it. Both hands in the air! He's in my head! So you're in, right? Where will I find him? In the Martian outback, somewhere along the Valle Marineris. PSI, asshole. <laughs> Carl? <laughs> Carl Jenkins in custody. We got Jenkins. Put him under. Damn you, Amy. Some of my ass. 
You know, even bugs learn from their mistakes. <sighs> Maybe we need an easier sim, sir. Hot LZ1 is kind of where it all starts, Lieutenant. Unless you want to run baby bug petting zoo. Well, I think we can all use a win. <laughs> What's that? Bug plasma. What the hell? Bugs on Mars? Is this the next training sim, sir? Negative. This is real world, Trooper. Get everyone into battle armor. Uh, yes, sir! How bad is it? There's a major bug outbreak on the surface, including plasma bugs. Yeah, I kind of figured that. It's been classified as a level four infestation. The second Mars Mobile Infantry is deployed and engaged on the ground. Level four? Do you know what that means? We're getting visuals now. We just lost our connection to the Federation, sir. We're sitting ducks up here. Initiate evacuation protocols. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Plasma hit the flight bay. I'm taking Lost Patrol down to the planet. You're going in with those Martian kids? Are you crazy? Someone's got to knock out those bug batteries. We've trained for it, so today's the day. You're a brass ball trooper through and through, Rico. And goddammit, I'm going with you. Now, the station is gonna blow. What? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. C could you repeat that? Get everyone on the boat now. We got bugs to kill. Oh my god. We're all gonna die. You do not have permission to die! here. And whoever it was already knew there were bugs on Mars. Colonel Rico! Lost Patrol, today's the day to prove yourselves. We descend to the Mars surface immediately. Mars is your home, troopers, and today she needs your help. Wipe out every bug that you see, and take back your planet! Yes, sir! Training's over, troopers. Sergeant Major Ratass is coming along for the ride. We're dropping with a legend! Yeah! Let's swing! Come on, you apes! You wanna live forever? <laughs> to the dropship now! On the bounce, troopers! Set your suits to zero pressure, troopers! Radio chest, do you all read me? Bravo, okay! 101, okay! Camacho, okay! Dutch, okay! Geo, okay! Colonel Rico, this looks bad! Move it, move it, let's go! Move it or lose it! Let's get out of here. Yes, sir. The hangar door won't open, Colonel. We're a no-go. We're a no-go only if I say so. Everyone on board? Uh, yes, sir. Colonel, no good. We're stuck. Maybe this isn't gonna work, Colonel. Bullshit. Link my suit to your weapon system. Roger that. Ready? Fire! Here we go! Die! 
down ground, sir! Are your people ready to jump? We're gonna jump? This is it, troopers. We're going hell on the rear hatch. The choice is yours. Sit here and die, or make the jump and die. <laughs> It's a good day to die! <laughs> His MI's got a 12% casualty drop rate that's pretty hard to crack. <laughs> 500 meters to surface. Retro's in three, two, one. <laughs> oh, 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 back, oh, man. If you do that once, you want to do it again. <laughs> Just like sex. Even better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the mobile infantry. Now cut the chatter and get ready to shit yourselves all over again. What are you talking about, sir? Look down, Lieutenant. <laughs> the surface is crawling with bugs. <laughs> what do we do, sir? Fire at will. Oh, uh, kill them all, uh, apes. Clear a spot to land. Just hold your position! Lieutenant Baba, do not use the new. Where are you, Colonel? I can't see your beacon! Four o'clock, 800 meters. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Reload! Me too! The me first! Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, sir. Rat's ass. Rat's ass! What's your 20? Lieutenant, go check on the Sergeant Major. Yes, sir. Colonel, over here. What's wrong with him? About to find out. Sergeant Major? Looks like Rat's ass popped a seal and froze to death. Present arms! <laughs> Lost patrol? We've got work to do. More bugs! them all tonight. They'll take Mars by morning. You can get a speeding ticket from a satellite, but the Federation misses this? Yeah. Someone with experience screwed this pooch. Ready nukes. Lieutenant, you receiving my fire coordinates? Yes, sir. Come on, Joe, come on. Prepare to fire. Sound off ready. Eyes on target. I'm hot. 
Me too. In three, two, one. This one's for Red's ass. Fire! Teach him not to mess with Mars. Fall back, troopers. On the bounce! Watch your rocket fuel! Dragon ass, Lieutenant. Brace for impact! <laughs> well, I guess we showed them, huh? Yeah, and now all their friends are gonna come looking for us. When's the rescue boat coming, sir? Sometime between now and never. Let's move. Well, I mean the fleet, sir. They, they gotta be sending the fleet, right? Let's keep moving. Huh? <laughs> Alpha Squad, 50% casualty rate. Delta Squad in full retreat. This operation's like slow motion suicide. Captain, FedNet has reported an infestation on Mars. They've taken the whole planet. What? Captain, we have two Federation starships on tactical approach. Report. Unable to confirm ID. John A. Warden, this is the special branch. The special branch? What are they doing here? Captain Carmen Ibanez, you are hereby relieved of duty for this operation. Relinquish command and surrender your vessel. What's this about? Under whose orders? We don't answer questions at Special Branch. Failure to comply is treason against the Federation. Stand down, or we will destroy you. Our vessels are the same, ma'am. And we're in luck. Stay right where you are. Carl, I don't know why, but I believe you. John A. Warden is breaking away, sir. She's out of her mind! Fire at will! Never hit us. We're in their blind spot. Crap design. Captain, I'm afraid we're losing speed and falling. Yes, I know. Prepare to fire the main thrusters on my signal. We're going to swing by and slingshot straight to Mars. Flashes of light from Mars tell the tale of a heroic last stand. Between a light platoon of mobile infantry and a bug army of 100,000 arachnid warriors, and then Mars goes dark. Federal scientists now believe an undetected bug meteor may have impacted the Martian outback three years ago. Officials refuse to speculate about how many, if any, of Mars' human inhabitants may have survived the arachnid sneak attack. But who should we blame for this tragedy? Federal psychologists say it's most likely Martians. They also warn us that those oh-so-Martian yearnings for personal rights and freedom are in reality primitive, childlike behaviors that destabilize society and weaken the human will to survive. Would you like to know more? It's not just about our safety. It's about duty. It's about the future. You're right. Because the future is everyone's duty. Hmm. That is sharp. Very sharp. 
Daniel? Yes, Amy? Do we have today's numbers? Your approval rating is at 82.5%. <laughs> I almost don't believe it. Almost. It is historic. No other Sky Marshal has ever been more popular. Still, there's always room for improvement. The more people hate Martians, the more they like you. Speaking of which, are we moving forward with the plan? You tell me. Is the Q-bomb ready? Yes, but I'm not sure if the public is ready. Oh, they're ready. They just don't know it yet. Shall I prepare a statement? Please. Something inspirational this time. Ah, maybe hit some family notes. You're right, because the future is everyone's duty. The only thing missing is a villain. The traitor of Mars is still sleeping it off. He's dreaming about high school. High school? Really? Can you imagine what Carl Jenkins was like in high school? <laughs> <laughs> Wake him up. <coughs> what is this thing you have for bugs, Carl? Well, to beat your enemy, you have to know your enemy. And I learn something new every day. And what did you learn today? Someone wanted Mars to get infested. And that someone's not you? You were in the perfect position to mastermind it. Amy, please. What are you going to do to Mars? I'm going to save them from themselves. A Q-bomb? Really? Is that your solution? Come on, Amy. Is this about the Federation? or your approval ratings. I've heard enough. Sweet dreams, Carl. You don't need to worry about my ratings, Carl. All it takes is a little fireworks and my ratings will soar. Sit back and enjoy the show, General. Think those bugs are here for us too, Colonel? Yeah, they're watching us. They're afraid we'll nuke them if they get too close. Just don't tell them we're out of nukes. Stupid bugs ain't gonna forget about us anytime soon. Bet they're just tired of us nuking them right up their bug hole. <laughs> 45 degrees. Okay, you're... Uh, Can anyone tell me what the fuck Lieutenant Baba's doing? He's working up some kind of old-time radio rig. Sent out a SOS. He better not SOS the whole damn hive, get us all killed. This is Martian National Guard, please identify. Well, I'll be a Martian's uncle. This is Martian National Guard. Please identify. George? I repeat, this is Martian National Guard. Uh, I think I may have got us a ride, sir. I may have underestimated you, Lieutenant Baba. <laughs> is that you, cuz? Well, hallelujah! What the heck are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> uh, we've been nuking bugs, George. You? You mean everyone's dead? Well, no one's picking up, you hear? Maybe some of them's down in the mines. We got damn overrun. I've never seen so many bugs in my life. Well, they're still afraid of us. <laughs> Run! Land! Go! Run for the boat! 
Use your red dozer, jump on board! To be. That's the big question, and everybody has an opinion. Mars is a bug planet, no question. One Q bomb will fix that, problem solved. Low gravity birth makes babies stupid, but instead, we call them Martians. That's a fascinating perspective, thank you. Any planet that symbolizes anger, war, and rampant male sexuality deserves to be blown up. A lot of ideas in there. You've really done your homework. Mars is a small, mediocre planet that's only popular because it's red. <laughs> that's certainly one way of looking at it. Let's find out what Federation's smartest woman thinks as we take you live to Space Command. Ladies and gentlemen of the United Citizens Federation, Sky Marshal Amy Snap. Fellow citizens, we have ourselves a problem. The arachnid outbreak on Mars is quickly spinning out of control. We've lost contact with her major cities, and her defenses are down. You may have heard that the Federation fleet cannot come to the rescue this time, because they're busy pummeling the bugs in their own backyard. But rest assured, fellow citizens, we have an ace in the hole. Ladies and gentlemen, the Q-Bomb. Planted on Mars for this very purpose. No, not everyone is going to like the idea of losing a colony at the press of a button. But if you've ever been to the front lines, then you know that to win this war, you need to play the long game. Take a look around. At your friends, at your loved ones. And ask yourself one question. If we give them Mars, then what will they want next? I've assembled a task force to determine what assets, if any, can be recovered from Mars. But we must act quickly before... before sensitive targets are compromised by arachnid incursion. We can't afford to wait. Because... We're not about to let bugs pry into our little secrets. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch! Johnny. Johnny. Johnny Rico. Wake up, Johnny. You can't sleep all day. Oh, come on, Johnny. Okay. Fine. Serious? 
seriously? Oh, Johnny. I knew that would work. You died at Whiskey Outpost. Wait. Am I dead too? No, silly. But the way you sleep, you might as well be. needs you and I need you to get rolling right the bugs exactly the bugs <laughs> you are such a little genius what what about my guys the lost patrol Shouldn't be too hard. I, just, I need water. I keep drinking, but I'm still thirsty. Drink some more. Can the dead walk? No. Then keep walking. Get up, Rico. What's your malfunction? Okay. Are you dying on me? What? I said, are you dying on me, trooper? No. No what? No, sir. Then move your candy ass. Yes, sir. down everything's down oh dang it what kind of pilot blasts off on empty i wasn't thinking cuz oh. i was scared what if the fleet isn't coming sir 
Of course the fleet's coming. They have to. What, they're gonna just ditch us? And all of Mars too? We about to ditch Mars our damn selves. You think Terran citizens are gonna care about a few stranded Martians? Well, they better at least pretend to care. We haven't left the Federation just yet. What are you doing, Baba? I'm trying to get some of our ass-kicking fight up on Fedbook, but I can't get connected. Bug Plasma probably fried the comm satellites. So you sure I'm not dead? Will you stop asking me that already? Well, it just... made sense that I might be dead. Made sense? Not everything makes sense, Johnny boy. You're live and well, and the Federation's going to crack their own colony with a Q-bomb. Q-bomb? You want me to take care of it? No. I need you to take care of it. Oh, do it for me, Johnny. Please. Yeah. Uh, okay. For you. Good. I just don't know where the hell it is. Oh, that's the easy part under an old terraforming tower. We're already halfway there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you remember high school? I remember football. An enlistment. That's about it. On that asshole Xander. Oh, <laughs> Xander. What a prick. What about your friends, Johnny? Friends? I don't know. I had a few. I'm not really sure where they all went. Well, what about Carl? Weren't you guys best friends or something? Yeah, I guess so. That was a long time ago. Carl changed. He's a general now, and it's almost like he's too big to be friends with. I mean, it's not his fault. He's busy saving the whole Federation. Yeah, but I guess he could try a little harder. Let's not get our hopes up. Johnny. We, we are, are friends, friends, aren't we? Johnny! What? Try any stupid mind tricks and we will kill you. Do you get me? Yes, I get you coming and going.
What the hell was that, Carl? Classic speech, Amy. Really sorted things out for the masses. If you love your family, then you should let me blow up Mars. <gasps> People need an explanation, Carl. And they prefer one that tastes good and goes down easy. This isn't a popularity contest. Leading the Federation is about responsibility. No. It's all about ratings, Carl. And you screwed with mine. I guess I know my enemy. <laughs> General Carl Jenkins. You are hereby charged with sedition and conspiracy against the United Citizen Federation. At 1600 hours, the Federal Council will convene to hear your case. And when you are found guilty, witness your execution. Is there anything you wish to say at this time? Yes. I beg you, Amy, don't blow up Mars. Take it back from the bugs and return it to the Martian people. Show them. Show everyone just how big the Federation really is. Too late. Mars is fucked. In a few hours, you'll be dead, Carl. Then I can get back to work. And blow up Mars as a warning to any future colony that will not bend to the Federal will. It's an epic, elegant revenge. It's so you, Amy. Except you went and made me the fall guy. You broke my nose! You fuck! Now it's your turn, Johnny. Johnny. No. Yes. I kicked ass. Yeah, Trooper. You kicked ass. Better's dead. Can't move. Let's get you out of that. Good idea. It's good to see you again, Johnny. It's been too long, that's for sure. The last thing I remember is that night in Tango Urilla. You were everything I ever wished for. You were everything and a bit more. Where'd you learn to do that anyway? Johnny! <laughs> it's true. I wish it could have lasted a lifetime. Oh, Johnny. You're making me cry. You know I fucking hate this shit. You started it, Diz. You got the whole ball rolling, really. I just never picked it up. Oh, stop it. You were just fine, Johnny. Really. There. That old terraforming tower? Yeah. It's there. Just rare in a blow. Who wants to blow up Mars, Diz? And why? Unfortunately, that's a long, sad story. Which happens to be classified. Classified? Diz? You'll find a way, Johnny. You always do. Oh my god! Oh crap! What, what now? Colonel Rico's still alive! Well, how's that bad? Well, it's not bad, it's good. But it means we left a man behind! Mobile infantry doesn't leave people behind. That's right. And now it's our turn to do some rescuing. 
You mean go back to Mars? We gotta get Colonel Rico back. Fuck yeah! Now look here, amigos. What you're talking about is a one-way rocket right back to Bug City. We're the mobile infantry. It's time to get mobile. Yeah, don't ask why. Ask why not. Well, okay, but how am I supposed to land without retro? You're the pilot. Look for someplace soft. Too bad your head's not bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 10 more to take its place. Good day to die. See you, cuz. 
I thought he was funny. Yeah. And at least he went out with a bang. Yeah. Colonel! <laughs> It's so great to see you, sir. Yeah. We're kind of running out of time. What's the situation, Lieutenant? Well, sir, we thought it was pretty bad. <laughs> no sign of the fleet, and you left behind on Mars, and no connection to FedNet, even. The Federation's blown us off, sir. Why are they doing this? They've left us behind, sir. Is it because we're Martians? There are no Martians in my mobile infantry. Only troopers who follow orders. Awaiting your orders, sir. Good. Our next mission begins immediately. We need to get to that old terraforming tower. Fellow citizens, today is a sad day indeed. Mars has gone silent, her surface overwhelmed by arachnids, with no sign of survivors, military or civilian. We now stand at a critical juncture. After weighing our options, I now believe there is only one thing left to do. We must dare to destroy Mars! Our war against the bugs cannot be won by committee, or by debate, or by due process. It can only be won by citizens who have the guts to do what's right. To make the hard decisions that will ensure our safety, and indeed, the survival of our species. with independence. We will remember you for your frontier spirit and your sheer will to survive. And most of all, your refusal to let bugs set foot on your soil. Long live Mars, the god of war. You have earned my deepest respect and by my authority as Sky Marshal, I hereby grant you eternal rest along with all those bugs. Interrupt, Sky Marshal, but someone has sabotaged Marsnet. The citizens need to know that we're still in the fight for Mars. What? No! Captain. I'm connected live to Fort Kilo. The mobile infantry is alive and well. What? That, that's impossible! See for yourself, Sky Marshal. Are live? Rico here. While engaging the enemy, we discovered a live Q-bomb. The thing was set to blow by mistake, so we shut the thing down. Pronto! Yeah! Just in time, too, thanks to some Martian troopers. Hope that wasn't a problem. Oh, oh we're gonna keep fighting, and we're gonna kill a lot of damn bugs! Can I watch you go? We got this! Mars ain't done for yet! We're gonna cook up some real barbecue! <laughs> no. No. So don't you worry, Sky Marshal. We're still here, and we're gonna keep fighting, and we're gonna win! Oh, Colonel! 
Look at that! Well, here we go again. their little party. Yeah, sir, the, the bugs are gonna tear this place apart! Geo! What happens if you turn that thing on? You mean, like, make some weather? I mean, rip the sky apart. Can you do that? The core's power's still alive. I think we can manage. Do it! I want full power. We're going for balls out overload. Give me ten minutes. Hey, Camacho, you wanna help? You bet! Lost patrol! Geo needs ten minutes. Make sure he gets it. What happens after ten minutes? They're gonna make it rain? Like balls give a shit about water. No, that ain't how it works. They're gonna overload the reactor and blow up the atmosphere. Well, what about us? Oh, shit. Flip everything to full power. You got it. Seems easy enough. Geo's doing some good work. Yeah. If you like watching the whole world come apart. You want to live forever, Lieutenant? No, but a little longer would be okay. We're born and raised on Mars. Never seen storms like this. You can't see this. Yeah, they ought to know that someone's still holding the line. The whole <clears throat> Federation's been watching you guys this whole time. Carmen. Woohoo! She's right. My camera's linked the fed net. Woohoo! She's right. My camera's linked the fed net. The Federation may have decided that Mars is a lost cause, but not these troopers with their leader, Johnny Rico. That's me! <laughs> That's me! What? You shit me! Yeah, look! Eyes up! Huh. I can't hold it much longer, Colonel! We gotta float a bridge! Not yet, we don't. Geo makes the call. Excuse me while I rip the sky! That's the last one! We're in business. That does it. This tower is now one big weather bomb. Good work, troopers. Everyone in the Lost Patrol is a hero today. I'm going to savor this moment the rest of my life. All five minutes of it. 101, kill the bridge. Roger. Lost Patrol. Let the bugs have this. Geo, we're coming up, then we're getting the hell out of here. Getting out? <laughs> Which way is out? Follow me. Geo, how many minutes we got? Uh, eight, maybe. <laughs> maybe? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, 
much. The bugs really did have his number. What the hell? Don't look good, Lieutenant! God, Colonel, we're so screwed! Fall back to the tower! And then what? Killed them all! What else? That's right. We're mobile infantry. We don't give up. Where you go, there's always freaking bugs, man! Reload! Look out! Run! This way! This place is going to blow! Let's go, troopers! We're not dead yet! Juice Colonel. You go on without me. Knock 
gonna happen, Lieutenant. You're going home, and that's an order. Bring her down. You got it. Good job, Good job, Cooper. I got you. Let's get off this rock. Hold on tight, troopers. Any moment now. guys. Carl? What are you doing here? It's great to see you too. Doesn't that chair belong to the Sky Marshal? She's taking a couple of personal days. I'm just keeping things moving until she gets back. I never dream of being Sky Marshal. So Amy Snap's just gonna get away with it? That's politics, Johnny boy. Did you know there were bugs on Mars too, Carl? <laughs> and you just let it happen. Carmen. How could you even think such a thing? Very funny. But this is the war we can never stop fighting. The bugs will never quit, and if we do, we're dead. For a few thousand years, we humans enjoyed the relative peace of fighting amongst ourselves. And then we reached for the stars. I mean, what did we think would happen? Well, thinking's your job, Carl. I'm the guy who follows orders. I like that. Now, go take back Mars from the bugs. Will you, General Rico? Yes, sir. What? It's always good to see you, Carl. Officer on deck! At ease. You troopers got something special. Something everyone wants. You live to tell the tale. <laughs> sure. Congratulations, troopers. You are born again hard, and I am proud to serve with you in the mobile infantry. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go have a beer, sir. Toast Mars, you know? Wanna come? Thanks. I gotta hit the sack. <laughs> That's why they call him the old man. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant, yeah. can I have a word with you? Uh, yes, sir. I wonder what you'd do if you found out that Sky Marshal Snap let the bugs start a colony on Mars so she'd have an excuse to blow it up. Is that what you're telling me, sir? I'm saying, everyone's got a right to fight for what's theirs. Maybe most especially Martians. From one Martian to another, good work, Lieutenant. Tomorrow we kill them all again. See you on the bounce. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, bounce good, sir. Roger that, Lieutenant. What? 
did Snap know? And when did she know it? Anti-federal activist Mars Co. is asking a musical question that's on everyone's lips. Federal opinion polls show Sky Marshall Snap's approval ratings are in question. No one doubts her genius, but can she lead? Would you like to? We'll leave it to Mars Co. What did Snap know and when did she know it? What the fuck did Snap know and when did she know it? Officer on deck! Today, you're going to locate a medium-sized bug colony and kill them all! Yeah! Come on, you apes! You want to live forever? Hoo-ah! 